Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I explain how to install Windows 11 on VMware Workstation. To do this easily, you need to have two important things. The first is that you have Windows 11 ISO file. And this is very easy, you can download the Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft directly. To download the Windows 11 file, open the browser, and type in the search download Windows 11 ISO and from the search results, open the official Microsoft website. After that scroll down, until you find the download Windows 11, disk image. Click on the drop down menu, and select download Windows 11 multi edition. Then click on the download button. Before the download process, you will be asked to choose the language you want. Select the language, and press the Confirm button. It will give you a link valid for 24 hours only. You are going to download now anyway. Click 64-bit download, then Windows will start downloading immediately, you can wait for the download to finish. After the download is completed. Go to the download folder, you will already find the file. It has been completely downloaded. After that, open VMware Workstation to start the installation for Windows. Then, click on Create a new virtual machine in VMware. I am currently working on VMware Workstation version 16. If you do not have this version, download it. I will leave you the download link for VMware version 16 in the video description. After that, select Custom Advanced, and then click on the Next button. Click Next button again. In this step, select Installer Disk Image File, to specify the path of the Windows file. Click on the Browser button, select the Windows file that we have downloaded, and then click on the Next button. Make sure that the version is Windows 10 64-bit and the operating system is Microsoft Windows. Click Next button again. Type in the name of the virtual machine. Type a name that fits Windows. Then select the appropriate location, where the virtual machine will install Windows. Click on the browser button, and select the available drive to do this, and create a new folder and name it. Click Next button again. Select Secure Boot, then click on Next button. In Number of Processors select Number 1, and in Number of Cores per Processor select Number 2. Then click the Next button. In this step, specify the memory or the number of RAM that will work on the new virtual machine. You can select the memory according to the number of RAM available for your computer. At least select 4 GB RAM initially. Click Next button again. Click Next button again. Select Create a new virtual disk. Then click the Next button. Select the disk space. I will increase it to 65 GB. Then click on Next button. Click Next button again. Then press the Finish button. And with that, we have successfully completed the creation of the virtual machine. It only remains to adjust some settings. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Click on the Options tab. Then select Access Control. Then press the Encrypt button, and type the password for the new virtual machine. Then press the Encrypt button to save the password. Then go back to the Hardware tab. Then click on the Add button at the bottom. Then select Trusted Platform Module, and then click on Finish button. The next step is to run the virtual machine. Press power on this virtual machine. Your computer will now start installing Windows 11. You will do the rest of the normal steps later until the completion of the installation process. Click Next. Then Install Now. You can complete the rest of the steps completely easily until completion. 
I think the rest of the steps are easy for the average user. Install it like you install Windows 10, and follow the instructions. If you encounter any problems with the installation, write to me in the comments. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.